Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Rockland today on Password Kings. I'm going to just show you the recap of the interview I did with O'Shea Duke Jackson of the Negro Manosphere. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. This episode is brought to you by what used to be called travel hacking, but is correctly named award stacking. Save thousands of dollars on flights while rapidly improving your credit. Personally, this system has changed my travel life. Right now, the system is over 50% off. Click the link above and start traveling nonstop for so much less. Welcome back, brothers, to yet another exclusive interview here on the O'Shea Duke Jackson main channel. And before I start this, let me say this. There's very few YouTubers that I've been watching for a long time, uh, like Solo 2 v 84 I was watching before I came to YouTube, uh, Charles Tyler, Rest in Peace, Philco vs. The Universe, uh, Mad Bus Driver X. But there's really one brother, man, that I really have watched extensively uh, when it came to the field of traveling. And I've been trying to reach out to this man uh, since I got at least over a thousand YouTube subscribers. I finally got him on here. That is the one, the only Passport Kings channel. I believe he's like the only channel that's like his on in YouTube as a black uh, black male YouTuber. I mean, the brother has some awesome stuff. If you want to get your travel on, hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> and, and it's good to have him, a.k.a. Rogland. What's up with you, man? What's up, O'Shea, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm happy that we finally got to get up, man. And like you've been watching my stuff, I've been watching your stuff every time. I mean, lately you've been hitting them back to back all yeah. day, like with new episodes. So I don't get to watch them all, but as soon as I get a chance, I just um, catch up with all of your old joints and watch them, watch as many as I can. But yeah, yeah I've been I've chilling, been man. I've been knocking them out, but man, I'm so glad to have you, man. Uh, you know, basically in your expertise to come on the channel. You know, you've been at it for about uh, at least three to four years, and uh, I, I can honestly say you're the only person that I know that has a channel that you have that's trying to reach, uh, you know, pretty much a, a, a general audience. But your, your 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 content seems to be more specified at getting the black men to travel and things yeah. like that. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean because. Um, most other races travel already. They, they they do it without any encouragement from anybody else. But it's like black people, mainly abroad, because a, a lot of black people would travel back and forth through the U.S. and just not not do anything that's crazy. Or if they go abroad, it's like one of those uh, hip hop stations, like the radio stations that will put something together, and then a whole bunch of people will gather up and do that. But as far as just like being a traveler, just getting up and getting on a plane and going somewhere that you've never been before i noticed that a lot of people weren't doing that so that was, i guess that's what drove me to make this channel or that's what the main focus of this channel is okay you know okay. what did i share it is it possible for me to share this um yeah man go ahead share the video i'm putting your channel in the um in the comment section for those of you who want to um you know subscribe the passport kings it's in the description as also in the chat but definitely you can um uh basically share the link let me give you the link right now in the facebook and uh and while i'm doing that and, and you're sharing it let me just ask you something man because mm -hmm. you you do got an accent okay i'm from california so i, I know you're not from where i'm from where are you uh -huh. from man? i'm originally from the bronx i know a lot of people say that I, it, it sounds like i have a a, a caribbean accent but I don't know. I'm from the Bronx, man. That's the what, that's the way I grew up. At. Yeah, the Bronx, New York. And it's funny. I was looking at your video with um, Al Grees, and he was like, he's from the Bronx, mm -hmm. and he uh, moved to Atlanta. So it's like he's doing the same things that I'm doing, but he was just doing it a couple of years ahead of me. But yeah, BX, man, BX. In the Bronx, <laughs> um, you know, shout out to the Yankees and stuff like that. And uh -huh. shout out to my boy, wake the hell up with the with the super chat. He says. Uh, word up, O'Shea, and to my big up to my dog, Passport King. So, good. So, again, a lot of What's people up, know man? Who you are, man. A lot of people know, you. Cool. thank you, man. Let me let me ask you this man. what got you uh to move to Atlanta from New York in the first place? Um, New York is 
dope. I mean, it's a dope place to grow up at. Uh, know a lot of people, uh, learn a lot of things about like fashion, culture, and just being ahead of the curve when it comes to, um, let me see, like just being aware of what's going on in the world. New York is really fast forward like that. Mm-hmm. But after a while, you feel like slowing down, <laughs> man. And um, I went to visit my brother and, and a, a friend of mine who had already moved to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And they was just showing me how simple things could be instead of the fast pace, fast life. Just people people are in a rush for no reason in New York. And it's like, calm down, man. And that's what I got in New I mean, that's what I got out here. It was like, everybody's just calm, calm down and relax a little. I can't hear you no more. Are you saying something? Yeah, no, no, I'm listening to you. Can you oh, hear okay, me? I hear you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. But uh, how do you hear me? I'm good. Yeah, you good, man. Uh, okay. Like you at church. Yeah. <laughs> <He> said, <laughs> it felt like you at church, man. You good? You hear you first? Loud and clear. Yeah, man. but um, let me see. Atlanta. I mean, I made a whole video about it. A lot of people hated it. They was like, man, you you just um, abandoned the Bronx, and now you sitting up in Atlanta representing that place. But like I was saying, um, it's just it's the pace really um new york will charge you very expensive prices for things that aren't worth the amount okay that they're charging for and yeah i mean i i haven't really gotten around to raising a family yet but if i did i would definitely want to do it here instead of in new york because new york is although it has a lot to offer it's it's a lot of hype okay okay yeah let me let me ask you this because You've been to so many countries. How many countries have you been to? Oh, countries. Let me count. Damn, that's, that's a uh, on the point question. Um, I'd say maybe 13, 13, 13. 14. Okay. Yeah. 13, 14. What made you to start wanting to travel in the first place? I told this story a couple of times too. It was. Um, back in the days, I used to work in Manhattan on 50th Street. Mm-hmm. It was like right across the street from the Winter Garden Theater. It was, it was the um, they was playing a, the Broadway show Cats. Mm-hmm. One day they opened up that show, <laughs> and the people came out of there that was watching it, and it was like maybe 50, 60 of the baddest chicks <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. So, yo, thanks for checking out that interview. I hope y'all learned something and picked up a little bit of valuable information. And you make sure you go check out that dude's channel over there on YouTube. All right, I'm um, going to put a description for the... I'm going to put a link in the description below. But again, uh, thanks for checking out Rockland and Passport Kings. And I hope hope we keep growing. And y'all make sure that y'all travel as often as possible. So, um, when you need something to watch on YouTube... Make sure you go watch the Negro Manosphere like a king of past king. Peace.